Before we return to our star movie, here's the headlines from ITN. It's been confirmed President Bush will visit Lockerbie in Scotland, where Pan Am Flight 103 crashed last December. Mr Bush plans to make Lockerbie the final stop on his trip to Europe next month. George Bush is to visit Europe at the end of May to attend the NATO summit in Brussels and plans to stop in London for talks with Mrs Thatcher on his way home. Administration officials have revealed a visit to the Lockerbie crash site will be part of his itinerary. It's reported here that a White House survey team has already visited Lockerbie and that advanced planners will go there shortly to work out the detailed logistics that surround any presidential trip. The Lockerbie families have mounted an angry campaign here, demanding to know why terrorist warnings weren't made public and complaining about what they call offhand treatment by State Department officials. Tim at ITN, Washington. Police have tonight defended the fatal shooting of two armed robbers who opened fire on them. Armed officers were lying in wait as the raiders rammed the back door of a post office in West Harrow, London. As the police gave chase, one of the gang opened fire, injuring an officer. His conditions described as comfortable tonight. Wanted prison escaper Paul Kane is tonight back in a Northern Ireland jail after his successful extradition from the Republic. An Irish helicopter touched down on the road near the border to rendezvous with a British army chopper for the journey on to Belfast. Kane made a brief court appearance and was formally charged with escaping from the Mays prison in 1983 in a mass IRA breakout. Abroad, Israeli troops and border police have shot dead five Palestinians in a raid on a West Bank village. Eyewitnesses say the Israelis fired indiscriminately into the crowd after youths threw stones in the village of Nahalim near Bethlehem. It's one of the worst single incidents since the Palestinian uprising began 16 months ago. Top judges have decided not to hold a meeting discussing the government's legal reforms during court time after all. Labour MPs had accused the judges of taking unlawful industrial action, as many courts would have had to close. The meeting is being postponed until Saturday, May 20th, after the Lord Chancellor agreed to extend the deadline for hearing their objections. We'll be back with more news later. Now we resume and conclude our movie Foul Play.